Hey guys, um, so decided to make a quick video um, working on this 2006 GMC Sierra. Um, you could apply this pretty much to, uh, I guess, any of these series. Um, I guess what I want to show you today is uh, just some troubleshooting things um, that you could use whenever you run into an issue like this. Um, so I was getting a, the code for the vent valve. Um, so I did go ahead and uh, replace this part here. Um, upon, in, uh, upon changing the new part, uh, the issue was still there. Um, you know, for you know, the first thing is it's usually the part because um, that, that's what everybody's saying online. Um, that didn't fix the issue. Uh, I did. Um, you know, after that, I looked at a couple of YouTube videos and start looking at stuff. And the second item was to look at the fuse. Um, there's a fuse for um, 15 amp fuse for WS. Uh, I looked at this one. This fuse, uh, I don't know if you could tell on this video, it's, uh, the fuse is not blown. Uh, it looks fine here. Um, you know, there's a video out there where the guy, uh, you know, the, there's a there's some dirt in the fuse or in at the fuel uh, the fuse box. So due to that, there's a connection issue. So he, you know, he puts it back in uh, back in a couple times and that fixes the issue. I tried that; that wasn't the case. So um, so back to square one. Um, so what I did was. I was looking at this wire. Um, I wasn't getting the 12 amp, uh, like the battery uh, disconnector here that goes into the uh, to the vent valve. Uh, this should give you a 12, 12.7 12 or 12, something close there. Uh, I don't know if you can see uh, after inspecting this connector, I noticed there's a breakage in this orange wire. Uh, you see over there uh, so it's always good to inspect these wires especially in a situation like this so it looks like there was some rust in there and it corroded so there's no connection in there at least from what I see uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and change this uh, go ahead spice this wire uh, I'm pretty sure that was that's gonna be my issue that's gonna fix my issue um, yeah, so this is the wire that goes into the connector. Uh, most likely the, the part I changed wasn't needed. So I'm going to go ahead and put that one back once I'm done with this wire. Um, yeah, uh, hopefully this helps you guys as well. Uh, always, always check the connectors. Um, this will save you a lot of, uh, a lot of time uh in other places this is like the most simplest thing i know it's sometimes where when you're working on under the on uh, not on the not with the lift it's usually hard to look at things like that but uh, as you can see uh there's a breakage right there it's hard to see especially when you're under the car and this is what you see you kind of have to twist it around and just kind of inspect it overall yeah hopefully this helped you guys if you guys like the video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more, more videos like this. Thank you.